Hello, everybody. My name is Debbie Crowley from ExpressivelyDeb.com. Thank you for stopping by. Today, I have a short video, um, a video tutorial uh, for the card. Uh, actually, it's the center card today. Um, I decided to go ahead and create um, a new template for this uh, pop-up card that was done by uh, Georgia Egan, one of my team members, a while back. I put it on my blog and um, created a tutorial for it. And I got a lot of response and quite a few emails asking if I could scale it down. This original card is a 5 by 7 size. So um, they wanted me to scale it down, if I could, to a, an A2. So I thought I would I would use the uh, rustic harvest. So without any more time, I went ahead and uh, did some uh, cutting and layering ahead of time. I will have a complete project sheet uh, on my blog along with this video um, with all of the measurements, the cutting measurements, cutting and scoring measurements, and um, all the layer measurements. That's what you'll need. But I wanted to show you how um, simple and easy it is to put the card together. Once all of the layers are cut, it's like anything else. Once all the prep work is done, it really is quick and easy. So, and I know I say that all the time, but it is the truth. So the card base is um, five and a half by eight and a half, and it is scored at two and one eighth inches by four. First score line is two and one eighth, and the second score line is four and a quarter. So when you score the card base, you create an accordion fold. So the top layer goes back to the left, and then you fold the card in half, or you can fold the card in half first, and then bring the top layer to the left. So you have your accordion fold. And of course, burnish burnish the score lines and, and your edges so everything is nice and, and crisp. Okay, so that is going to be the card base. The uh, pop-up mechanism is three inches wide by five and a half inches long. Uh, same length as the standard card uh, front. So what I did was I scored at... at three quarter inch increments. So it's scored at three quarter, three quarters, one and a half inches, two and a quarter inches. And then it is uh, folded and burnished and you're gonna actually create a square panel with this, which is going to be the pop-up mechanism. Now on this panel, uh, I'm going to use tear and tape because it has it's going to be inserted and adhered inside the card base. And the tear and tape does give a nice um, adhesion. Okay. You can also use stamp and seal. That would um, the stamp and seal plus would probably be the right one. And you can you know run two strips of it down on the each end panel of the um, pop-up mechanism. So that's what that looks like when uh, the tear and tape is on it. The other um, cuts that you will make with the cardstock are the squares. These squares are going to be the bases for the triangles that's, I'm sorry, the diamond pattern that sets on the front of the card, if you can see that. And then these two smaller squares go that way. And then the larger one comes in here. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and start gluing this together. And then um, we'll work on getting the uh, pop-up mechanism put in. Um, so, um, so we'll get one more panel in. And I had to be careful on this. I, was, I, was, I created a couple of cards and I actually um, had the designer series paper going in all different directions. So um, I made sure that this one was going up. Download. We're going to work on the mechanism now. The mechanism 
is a square. It's the, the scored lines that we did are going to form a square. And then we're going to flatten it out. And the two um, edges that we have the adhesive on are going to set in here. And all we're going to do is fold and fold. So it's very simple. And, you know, I think it looks nice. Um, I do like the pop-up cards. I haven't done many of them. But this seemed to be very popular. Okay, I took the protective sheet off of the, uh, let me get this in here. When I'm making sure, uh, I hope I'm in a good camera angle here. And all I'm gonna do is fold. Okay, now we're gonna do the other side. It's the same thing. And make sure it's flat. And we're going to fold. Okay. Nice. It doesn't really look like a pop-up. Now we're going to work on the triangles. Uh, I keep saying triangles, and please forgive me for that. I don't know why I'm doing that. But the squares, that will become diamonds. And I'm just going to add a little glue onto the layer that I did. What you want is you want, I'm just looking to see, I like, okay, that way. So what you want, I'm gonna keep it closed. One corner, the top corner of the diamond shape will go with the top corner of the uh, fold, the top panel. And then the other one will go. It will match up with the bottom corner, so you will have a little bit of an overlap there. Um, you could scale down the dimensions, but for cutting purposes, um, I kept it this way. That little overlap you're not going to really see because the sentiment is going to cover it. So um, now the other thing I want you to know is only put glue on the back of the one side because this side is uh, should not be adhered to anything. You don't want it sticking because you won't be able to open up your card. So I'm only doing glue on the um, cut that way. The dimensions are set for that. Okay, so that's the front part of the card. See, it's really simple once you get the layers cut. Now this was the larger square. See, it's just a quarter of an inch larger than um, these squares. And offhand, I don't remember the dimensions, but you will have everything. Um, okay, this we have to put on the cardstock. That would work, right? If we go in about a quarter of an inch from the edge of the panel, um, right there, and if we hold this here, and we have about the same distance from here to here, from here to here. Look at that. See? So just remember, about a quarter of an inch from the edge of the... Now, don't forget, it's hard to see because I do have a um, Mary Merlot layer. Um, so a little more than a quarter of an inch if you're going to measure on the basic white point. But it's at that point right there that should be about a quarter inch from the um, edge of the pop-up mechanism. And that gives you a nice fold. And now we're ready to decorate. And I think that um, you can see how, how really easy it is. Uh, we should put the writing panel on. So the writing layer um, on this particular design goes on the back because there really isn't any place to write um, with your little pop-ups unless you want to create something um okay so that's that and and you know they well this particular suite bundle and well it is the suite uh came with um the label leaf leaves and the amber gems uh embellishments and i really love these so you see how many i used i really love these but i'm thinking i did i did 
die cut some autumn, uh, oh, I'm sorry, oak leaves and the sentiment, which is going to set there. And I die cut the pumpkin. Um, but I'm thinking maybe use a leaf on the front. I don't know if how that would look, but you can, um, It doesn't look bad. I think I'm going to stick with the pumpkins, but it does look nice. Okay, so I'm sorry, the leaves, the other leaves. But these are pretty, these tags. So the sentiment is going to, well, when we put our pumpkin, I'm only putting glue on half of the pumpkin. You see a little bit of the pumpkin there, but we're not going to worry about that because the sentiment is going to uh, cover that. Now, I stamped the sent sentiment with Mary Merlot ink. Now, again, the glue placement. Keep in mind, you have to remember, we, we need to have this card mobile, right? Because it has a pop-up mechanism. So we're not putting glue all over everything. So when you're gluing down half of these, half of, th of these in the front, one side of your pumpkin, a little bit of this uh, pop-up, Okay, so, and this pumpkin is, oh, there we go, that's the way it's supposed to be. Okay, so I'm going to set the sentiment right about here, but I'm only gluing here and here. That's it. Just because we don't want it to stick everything together, then the pop-up will pop up. Glue, but now I, I like it because I can wiggle it around. Okay, so that's the sentiment, and we're almost finished. The only other thing we're going to do is embellish this with a couple of leaves, as I did here, um, and then put a little bit of uh, so uh, a little bit of uh, sparkle on it. All right, so this leaf, I'm just kind of mimicking what I did on the original, I, and um, so I hope that. Watching me put it together, um, I didn't think it required a full video watching me cut layers and that kind of thing. But I think watching me put it together, you can see how simple it is. Um, just make sure that your corners match and make sure when you're putting your mechanism. Now, I covered it up because of the, the I put the pumpkin in there, but it's about a quarter of an inch in and then when you close it, your point, it's, it's going to set really nicely, which you can see. So, um, and then put, you have your writing layer on the back. This does fit into one of our medium envelopes. It is thick, but it does fit into one of the envelopes. I do think that, um, possibly you may, uh, I didn't check it, but you may, um, have to, um, put, extra a little extra postage if you're mailing it but you can check with the post office and see what they say so two beautiful cards um you can do this i see this design um beautiful with the holly um that we have you know uh for the holiday um mini i'm sorry the july to De december uh 2022 mini catalog i i still call it the holiday catalog but um, the Holly would be beautiful with this. Santa Express would be beautiful with this. Um, so you can really um, jazz it up. And it's not a card. It's a gift. And as I say on to so many people, a handmade card is a hug with a fold in the middle. And I think that's what something like this would be. So I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it helps. Please reach out to me with any questions um, from the the video or my project sheet and everything will be up um, hopefully tomorrow uh, on my blog. So I wish you all the best. Have a great evening and remember to express your creativity and the only limitation is your imagination. Thanks for stopping by.